high. For the evaluation of 2D results, there is one very useful function, and this is a section through 2D members, which will display you the results from 2D members on one line. So there is no integration through the width, like in the integration member or integration strip. This is simply one cut through 2D members. So it's a very basic function, but uh, I have no video for it at the moment. My name is Ivan Belesh and I am support engineer for SCIA and IDEA Statica. Now we are in a building model, which I have from the University in Bratislava for the trainings. And we can display, for example, vertical axial force for the, no, start with the bending moment in the slabs. So I will select one slab, for example, Control E is to display only selected members. Look at the top view go to the internal forces, bending moment in X direction, standard results are here, and simply refresh them. So it's very easy in X direction, but I would like to see the bending moment, for example, here in this line, and maybe also here. So what can I do? I can draw cut, so a section through these 2D members, where you can find it, I will go to all text, this is my favorite view, and then to calculation and results, so you, then you have only few icons. Section on 2D. What do we have? This drawing direction is not important. It was important in all their versions, but no, we have this setting directly in the results. So we don't need it. You can simply ignore this line. And then we have a direction of the cut. What is it? This direction shows you in which direction will be the line moved. For example, we have a 3D building. So, with some doors. And I want to create a section and to see the results on the slab. For this task, I will draw some line and I have to move this line in vertical direction to go with this line through my model and everywhere I find, or the engineer will find some slab, it will be cut it. So then I will get some results here, Irgentwo, so here, some, somewhere, sorry, I like to speak more in German. So, but let's say I would like to cut the walls. Draw it again. And I want to see the vertical force, vertical axial force in the walls. For this, I will draw a line here, but I don't, don't, don't have to move this line vertically. I have to move this line in horizontal direction. So we have some global coordinate system, important global coordinate system, X, Y, and Z. And for the cutting of the slabs, I have to move vertically. So my point from where I move, in, in which I move the this line is 0, 0, 1. This is for X, this is for Y, and this is for Z. So I move only in Z direction. This line will be moved in, not in X direction, it's 0, in Y direction and not in Z direction. If I would like to move through this model, or let's say I have, this is a, Let's say I have only one wall, such wall with some openings. And I want to draw a section here. So this section have, has been, have to be moved in this direction. And this is one in X, zero for Y and zero for Z. So 
you can write also another coordinates, but this one zero zero or zero zero one is more simple. Go back to the engineer and we want to move in X zero, Y zero, Z one. And this is the layer. Layer is important because if you have a large structure, you will have a lot of cuts and you don't want to see them everywhere. So you can, um, you can draw them on the same layer, like for example, the walls or slabs. So to do them, to see them together. So, and now we will draw, for example, here and one here. So zero, zero, 001, look at 3D. It doesn't matter in which height I will draw because this line is going through the full structure. Now I can go to the results, deactivate standard results, activate the results in sections and refresh. And then you see the results. So we don't need the units. And we want to see, some, for example, the extreme values mesh. So then you see a little bit more or you can create more cuts, so whatever you want. So this is for cutting in vertical plane. So I will delete them to have only one cut on my screen. Control Q to see everything. And I would like to cut through the through these walls. So create a new section. OK, do it in the middle. Aha, I don't have the midpoints, midpoints from here to here. And because this line goes in X direction, I cannot move it in X direction because then it's like an arrow. Then it creates only one, one point and not a line. So I have to move it in Y direction. So the direction of the cut is zero in X, Y one in Y direction and zero in Z direction. So, and now I can go to internal forces and look at the axial force in vertical direction. This is NY and refresh the results. Now we can look on top and we make it a little bit smaller. Aha, this was from the university something. <laughs> okay. So, and you see the results. These results can be displayed in different ways. So first, the direction of the drawing. In the past, it was defined here in the cut. It was in this diagram, but, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So you can define whatever you want. The best way, it, if you want to select something, then select this one, draw similar as for settings in results, but it really doesn't matter. And then can you can go to the results and you can define the direction of the diagram here. So this was the section plane. Refresh was my section plane. We can change to element plane. Refresh, then it's in the element of the wall. So, so it's vertical, more logical, but you need a 3D picture. And there is also upright to element. OK, this is also orthogonal, but it could be a different uh, different direction than the section plane. So it's not bad, this setting. So we can look from the top view. Then we have different settings. We have precise and trapezoidal. And for this trapezoidal, uh, if you have some opening in the wall or in the element in the in the member or you have more uh, more members then this trapezoidal distribution will be calculated for each part which have no opening so the openings will break will will make a break in this calculation and it starts again here the same also for the average values so it's average for each of this part. Also, if you have more walls in parallel walls, then for each of these walls will be calculated a new a new average value. And there is one a little bit hidden function. And this is the resultant. The resultant 
can be seen in this type of values. You can go to the resultant. And then you have different coordinate systems. For example, for the walls, X is going horizontal, Y is going vertical. So if I want to see them for each wall in the local coordinate system of the wall, then I have system LCS member 2D and I have to see FY, the vertical force. So for each wall, I get one force. Maybe very useful if you calculate a 3D calculation and you have a 2D calculation and then you want to compare the reactions and you want to compare the reactions from the 3D model. So very good for checking and a uh, little bit high values, but okay. Um, but if you want to see it in global coordinate system, you can change the system to global and then you have to go to FZ of course, and then you see the results in global coordinate system. So you can switch and be careful with the results. And that's all. Ah, no, that's not all. Sorry. <laughs> for 3D structures. For 3D structures, for example, I have this water tank. I would like to, so water container, and I have some water pressure defined or some pressure from the inside to the outside and I want to see the results so of course I have the results pre-calculated and we go to the standard results you know it but you can create also a section we will cut this this container in vertical direction so I go out from the results section 2d in vertical direction, first one, from, for example, this point to this point. It cuts also the walls. This is not the, not the issue. It's okay. And uh, that's everything what we need. We can go to the results and we can select basic magnitudes M way and switch over the standard results, switch on the results and sections. So you can combine them. For example, you want to see the ISO lines and also the sections, but ISO bands and sections is not very good solution because the ISO bands have a, uh, some, some shading, so you don't see them, the, the lines. So, but ISO lines with sections works. So, so, and we see in this direction also the results in this tank. So, you can draw it in each direction you want and also display in some different directions. For example, in element plane, it's also not bad sometimes. So whatever you want. It was a short video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.